What's going on everyone? This is JVB once again with another Surface video. Now I've been getting a lot of positive feedback and a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, new consumers who have been buying the Surface RT and they've been finding it for very cheap for sometimes under $200. And if you can find it for $199, you have yourself a really awesome tablet. If you guys have been viewing my videos, you un you'll understand how much I truly enjoy the Surface RT but something happened uh, about as a matter of fact November 22nd I received something from Microsoft because I won me a contest apparently for doing absolutely nothing and I will explain in just a second so let me put this on the side and let me get my new toys so as you can see I have the music kit along with a surface 2 tablet now I did a video explaining why you should not give up on the surface RT I did the, I did that video when the surface 2 was launched and as I stated I won the contest on Twitter and me and a, about six other people were chosen. We were kind of surprised that we won, considering that the original contest is for musicians. Now, I do podcasts, and I had uh, my entry to the contest was a, a simple explanation as to what will you do if you wanted yourself a Surface 2 with a music kit, which is this. And I said I would do some intros for my podcast. And, lo and behold, that was enough to win. Uh, this is not for sale, actually. So, the only people I've seen with this music kit touch blade or touch cover have been either people who won it in a, in a competition or a contest. Uh, this is pretty much a mixer or a sampler, and I've, I've dabbled with it. And it's pretty cool. It only works on the Surface 2, Surface Pro, and the Surface Pro 2. So if you're into DJing and stuff like that, and, it, and you own a Surface RT, number one, you can't buy it yet. And if you were to get your hands on one on eBay or, you know, Craigslist or something, just realize that, you know, it's uh, the Surface RT won't be able to run it. So here's the Surface 2. I'm not going to do a full-blown review and uh, you can find that anywhere and there's a lot of people who would do it better than I can uh, the main things I want to point out is power obviously because it's a Tegra 4 processor obviously it's gonna have more power where you'll see the difference in performance is video games if you let me see, make sure I don't have anything in the background. Let me. And just like the Surface RT, it's running Windows 8.1. So I'm going to start up. Halo Spartan Assault is about the only game that I really play, even though I have a bunch of games on my home screen. Some of them I haven't even re downloaded from the Surface RT to the Surface 2. So here's. Whoops. Let me take that out. Let me, uh, all right, let me close that fully and reboot it. So here's Halo Spartan Assault, which you can also find on the Xbox One, and I believe the Xbox 360, and of course Windows Phone and all that. As you can see, it booted up really fast, even though I fully disabled it. And that's where you'll see the big differences when compared to a Surface RT and a Surface 2 you'll see applications boot up really fast and people have done 3D benchmarks and stuff like that and it hammered the Surface RT and once again that is obvious because of the processing power is has been upgraded both both the Surface RT and the Surface 2 have 2 gigabytes of onboard memory so there you're not going to get a disadvantage. The Surface 2 has USB 3.0 compared to 
uh, USB 2.0 on the Surface RT. So that is really fast when you're transferring data between a, uh, let's say, a thumbstick, a USB thumb drive, or an external uh, 3.0 uh, HD, uh, HDD uh, hard drive. Excuse me. I just got out of work. Sorry about that. So if the external hard drive supports 3.1, I mean 3.0, then you're going to get really quick transfer speeds. The other thing on the Surface RT, I used to put a lot of AVI movies, dot AVI movies, and I would get some stuttering. I would get uh, sometimes the sync was off between the uh, dialogue. Sorry about that light. Between the dialogue and the characters, actors speaking. Well, that doesn't happen with the Surface 2. I thought it was software with Windows 8.1, but it still happens on the Surface RT and on the Surface 2. It doesn't happen. So you'll have a, perfor a performance boost in movies. At least for me, it seems like uh, movies that come off of the SD card that are over a gigabyte, it seems to perform very well on the Surface 2, whereas on the Surface RT, it has some trouble. Uh, it's gotten better, so I'm not going to say it's totally um, out of whack, but it's not as good as the Surface 2. As far as weight and thinness, there is a slight, it is slightly thinner, and weight-wise, yeah, there is a significant, not significant, but there is a noticeable difference in weight. I can, uh, I feel like juggling the two, but with the Surface 2, you can definitely hold it a lot more comfortable and read for a longer period of time. If you're into comic books like I am, I don't even know if I have my, let me see, I don't even know if I have my comic book set up here. But you can, let me see if I could bring up my comics. I just want to show an example, but you can definitely hold the Surface 2. I can hold it like this and read comfortably. Whereas the Surface RT, after a while, my hands begin to get a little cramped. Granted, I'm holding this, and people have told me in, in previous videos that I must have, uh, you know, hands, uh, big hands, because of the way I hold the Surface RT. Uh, so most people aren't going to really read, <laughs> hold their Surface like this. I can do it with the Surface RT for a little while, but for the most part, when I'm reading, and, and you definitely ain't going to tell the, the difference in, in uh, dimensions. But reading is definitely a lot more comfortable. And, and the reason why I'm bringing up reading and stuff like that is because if you're like me, you take the train a lot and you want to read some comic books, it, it definitely helps that in, if you're in a crowded train, you can just hold it close to you and you don't have to, you know, you can hold on to the, to the, to the railing and continue reading your book or comic book. Or you can hold it like this. I have my screen locked, but you can hold, hold it like this and have it vertical and just read all your content that way. As a matter of fact, let me just demonstrate that right now. Let me unlock it. And if you want to, whenever the computer, does, oh, okay, there it goes. So it reconfigured itself. And let me see if I can get my comic to... So here's the comics, and then I believe you can you're supposed to be able to click, double click. Anyway, bad example, and thank you, Surface 2, for making me look like a fool. Anyway, I'm going to boot up Windows, uh, actually Microsoft Word, so you can see, once again, unprepared. Let me uh, let me do Excel. Let me lower the screen.
because it is kind of bright. So, to be fair, this is not booting up. Word is not booting up at, at supersonic speeds. Uh, it's on the desktop, and that's why every time I go to start up the program, it boots up so quick. So I'm going back to Word so you can see how how quickly it boots up. So that's pretty fast and I'm going to do it on the Surface RT and once again I'm not bashing the Surface RT I'm just saying that there is a difference in performance and that's not rocket science. So there you go. You can see that there is a difference in loading and that's where you'll see the big performance difference, especially with video games. Uh, overall movies and everything like that are going to pretty much perform the same except certain movie formats. And the speakers are a little louder, but the way they programmed it with like these via software they put um, some type of boost to to the audio and the speakers were cracked so I took that off and overall they sound just like the Surface RT speakers so without that enhanced soft that enhanced loudness that that comes standard or comes uh, is turned on by default with the Surface 2 uh, without that it, there's really no difference in speaker sound I will say that uh, if I didn't win this, I wouldn't own one because I was, uh, I still am. I gave the Surface RT to my son and he uses it a lot for school now. And so, and it's crazy, he's 12 years old doing PowerPoint presentations. It's pretty insane. Um, but if you're in the market for a tablet and you don't own one yet, and you want the latest and you know most powerful tablets or you're looking at the more powerful tablets the Surface 2 is definitely and, and I still say is better than the iPad it's better than the iPad Air it can just do so much the Surface RT if you're looking for a tablet that is going to just like my son Give him the capabilities of carrying this in his book bag, taking it to school, doing schoolwork, going to the library, and I don't have a background, so, um, you know, that's why it is, is blank, the desktop that is. But as you can see, I have OneNote, I have Excel, I have PowerPoint, I have Word, and Skybox, which has really come in handy because transferring his work into Skybox and having it there, putting it on the Mac, and then, you know, if it needs to print, blah, blah, blah. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. And also for the Surface 2, you get 200 gigabytes of SkyDrive storage, which is amazing. And that SkyDrive, I could use it on the Xbox One as well. But if you can get the Surface RT, I think it's $250 now. Some people have gotten it for $199. If you can get a deal on the Surface RT, which you're going to see a lot of, especially on the holidays, definitely get one. If you're on a budget, but you want more bang for your buck, Surface RT is going to provide that. If you want to be up to date as far as technical specs and speed, and you want something that's going to perform alongside the iPad Air, the Surface 2 is definitely the way to go. As you can see, I'm handling this with ease, and it's sleek, it's light, it's powerful, and I'd say it's worth the money. If you want to wait a little while for it to go down, maybe $30 or $50, maybe instead of being $440 or whatever it is now, going down to maybe $399, uh, I'd say wait, but the screen is full 1080p. That's another advantage. So if you're reading text and you want to zoom in, you can zoom in with a lot of clarity. And, you know, I use smart glass every once in a while with my Xbox One. 
and overall uh, it's definitely it is an improvement from the Surface RT and there are certain things such as the Tegra 4 being installed in it that give it that advantage it has a slight advantage also in battery power when compared to the Surface RT but it all depends how you use your tablets overall you'll last if you're using it moderately you, you can spend a whole day in one charge on both devices but there is maybe maybe a few hours of battery extra battery life on the surface too so you have a powerful a more powerful processor and more battery life and 1080p uh, a 1080p uh, screen which is found on the surface pro the first one so that's pretty impressive in itself having more battery life and uh, more power under the hood is what that's really what you want in an upgrade in, in new tech so anyway I definitely recommend the surface 2 once again surface RT I was fully content with it if I didn't have uh, if I didn't win the surface 2 I wouldn't have it not that it's not a knock against it, but it's just uh, a compliment to the Surface RT. And really quick, this is the touch. I mean, this is the type cover too. It has a backlit. It has backlit keys now. It's thinner than the first type cover, which they don't sell anymore, which is weird. My original type cover, the material is peeling off back here. And it happened twice, and they admitted, uh, the sales representative in Microsoft in the store admitted to me that that was a reoccurring issue. So I said, there's no reason why I should be penalized for poor, uh, for poor design. And they were kind enough to let me upgrade, or not even upgrade, I didn't have to pay anything extra to switch over to a type cover to the original touch cover, which is thin, which is very similar to the music kit. The original touch cover, you can find it for $79.99. So you can essentially for $279, $280, or, or maybe less, you can have a type cover, a touch cover, excuse me, and a Surface RT. And you know, with, for all the produ uh, productivity apps and, and, and the multimedia capabilities, that is really, really, uh, that, to me, that is a big bargain, or a real good bargain. So anyway, uh, with this Type 2 cover, once again, um, I recommend it. It's still $130, which is still, in my opinion, a lot of money, but when you consider the technology that goes into making this thinner than the original and not that much thicker than the first type cover and having it backlit when it's connected to your surface and it also works on the surface RT that's really impressive and now it comes in colors the only thing is that this is all material and the, the actual physical buttons are plastic and they don't have a lot of travel time so they're a little quieter when you're typing stuff like that and very responsive so I'll give it to Microsoft they they do know how to you know make uh, something that looks really pretty they, they, they can make something like this make it so thin but yet fully functional especially when you're trying to do word projects or PowerPoint projects or just simply typing emails or chatting it up on Twitter or Facebook uh, it's pretty amazing so I can see why it's $130, but, um, you know, if you're not looking for a keyboard, I, I will say one more thing. If you don't want to buy a keyboard uh, for either the Surface RT or the Surface, uh, or the Surface 2, with the Surface 2, we all know that it has another, it has two positions, two kickstands, kickstand positions or standing positions excuse me 
So with this one, I can put it on my lap and actually type comfortably on the onboard keyboard or the touch keyboard. So if you want a Surface 2, but you don't want to pay extra for a type cover or, or a touch cover, with that second position, you really don't need to buy one. The, the keyboard that comes standard on the Surface RT and Surface 2 is pretty darn good. And let me see if I can bring that up. And is it right here? And it's really responsive and good. So with that second seating position for the Surface 2, you can essentially do whatever you need to do with the onboard keyboard. So that's just a tip there. And of course, with the Surface RT and the Surface 2, you have a full-blown USB port, and you can just attach any keyboard or mouse, or just put a USB hub and attach a keyboard and mouse, and, you know, uh, external hard drive, stuff like that. But anyway, that's enough. Um, what, one real quick thing. I do appreciate all the feedback I've been receiving on my videos for the Surface RT. Please continue to leave your feedback and questions. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Sometimes, believe it or not, and it's to my surprise, I'll receive like 30 questions at one shot. And that's a beautiful thing because it's, it's letting me know that people, number one, are, are listening to what I have to say, and I truly appreciate that, that you find what I have to say interesting. I wish my wife did. And, that's a joke, by the way, and that people are actually warming up to the Surface tablet, which is great. The Surface RT, in my opinion, is a very underrated tablet, and because Microsoft screwed up a, a few things, specifically pricing it too high, putting a Tegra 3, and just promoting it very uh, incompetently with people throwing Surface tablets at each other and dancing and doing all this stupid stuff. Um, they recovered from that, and that's a great thing. Uh, the Surface RT, you can find it for cheap now, and that's great. So I still recommend the Surface RT. Surface 2, if you're willing to spend the money and you want to stay up to date with all of your devices, the Surface 2, in my opinion, is still better than the iPad Air. Uh, definitely better. But once again, it's my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. So thank you. Continue to leave me feedback. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I look forward to speaking to you via the comment section about your experiences with a Surface RT or Surface 2. So once again, I'm JVB. I'll talk to you next time.